Um, the illusion of time is the next um, method of manipulation that the sorcerers of consciousness use against us. This is kind of a this is kind of a conceptual one. It, it's a heady one. You have to visualize uh, uh, this aspect. So time is a quality that we often see in physical terms. We say, I don't have enough time. I am spending time. Um, uh, time flies. See, it's looking at time as a physical quantity based on physical movements of, of astronomical bodies. So you're, you're quantifying time and you're saying that it's a physical thing. This goes hand in hand with the idea that time is money. Time is value to us and we have to acquire it or we have to look at it in a way that is physical in nature. So this keeps the consciousness very much grounded in the physical world. It's based on physical astronomical objects. It is based on physically endlessly repeating cycles that go over and over and over again and repeat endlessly. So it, it's a, a negative worldview way to, to conceptualize the notion of time. This is a great depiction of what I look at as present moment awareness or the idea that time is actually an illusion. Because if you can get somebody time identified They'll, they'll not take the time to look into certain events. They're wound up in the events that go on in their life and it's an endlessly repeating cycle of events over and over and over again. Nobody dissuading from you know, going uh, off of the usual path of what they do on a daily basis and they're locked in an endlessly repeating cycle. This is uh, a depiction of the Gnostic crucifixion where it's a symbol. This is a symbol about time, in effect. If you look at Jesus as the Savior, the light of the world, the one who is the redeemer of consciousness, okay? not saying that I necessarily believe in the man Jesus in that realm, we're looking at this as a symbol, he is crucified at Golgotha, a Greek word which means the place of the skull. So the light of the world, the awakened consciousness, the savior of the world, our consciousness that is born in the prefrontal neocortex of the brain, that the third eye, so to speak, the light, right, is crucified. He's put to death at the place of the skull. This means that the light of the world can be put to death in the mind through psychologically being identified with time. So psychological time is represented by the two thieves that the light of the world is crucified among. This is the thief of the past. He robs from the present moment awareness. What is happening now? what we're experiencing now at this moment, the present moment, the gift moment. This thief is the future. He also robs from the present moment. So if you can keep people's consciousness identified with time, they are always either in regret over the past or in anxiety over the future. They're never really rooted or grounded in the present moment. The gift of consciousness, the light of the world, understanding what's going on within you now and around you at any given time. True present moment awareness. We'll talk about that more in part three.